I'm taking a record of the parents of the adopted girls who are yet to return. These are females. These are males. Good afternoon, Reverend. Good evening. How are you? Are you fine? Anyway. Well, I can see you with a magazine of Voice of Christian Matters. Where do you get this? I get it from some of my colleagues who came to comfort us with some words of God. Wow. And I'm highly interested in what they are doing. Okay. Sir, so can you tell us your experience? Because I learned that you are also <coughs> affected. Really, the experience is too bad. Since 14th of April, really, we don't under, I don't understand myself as a human being. Day and night, I feel it, especially my little daughters or my children completely, especially my wife since then. She don't even know what to do sometimes. She cannot cook. Even somebody cook and bring it for her, there is no test for both of us. Oh, my God. The two of your daughters, how old are they? The other one is 18 years old. The other one is 20 years old. Are they in the same school? They are in the same class, even the same bed, because they work together. Which school was that? This uh, GGSS, uh, that's Government uh, Girls Secondary School, Chibok. So that is how the insurgents abducted them and took them away? Yeah, really. How many days now? Well, uh, since 14th of uh, April, today is 17th of June, almost two mo over two months today. So. How are you feeling, sir? I can quite um, understand your frustration about the abduction of your daughters. How are you feeling now? I cannot explain myself because I feel so sad. But are you quite happy with the process? And then are you encouraged with the way they wanted to bring back the girls that were campaigning all over the world? The military are trying their best. And then uh, we have the effort of the locals. Uh, are you hoping that uh, any of these agencies can bring down your girls one day? Well, I don't know. As I'm hearing from you, or as I do hear over the media, I'm not sure of what is happening. Especially the Nigerian government. If the Nigerian government is doing something about it, if they say they are doing something about it, I will say they are not doing anything. They are not doing anything. Why did if you make that statement? Because of Nigerian government, we have no hope. So where are you hoping now that possibly the girls will come back? Well, uh, as they say that uh, some of the countries or United Nations has joined us, I have little hope there because I believe if they take necessary action, by the grace of God, our daughters will be back sooner or later. Thank you so much, children. We quite sympathize with your situation. Good afternoon, sir. Afternoon. How are you? I uh, can see from your face that uh, you are so much devastating as a result of your daughter. Actually, this is what is going on. Yeah. Are you affected, sir? So serious, because uh, any time I'm in Delima, life is in Delima. Wow. So how old is your daughter? 17 years old. 17 years it's old. It's my knee. It's my knee. It's not my daughter. Okay, it's your knee. Yes. Now, sir, it's like, uh, do you have any problem with the way the media are making statements, with the way things are happening, or you're hoping that the federal government and the other people are trying to rescue your girls? In fact, uh, we appreciate the effort of the media that are circulating our...